He was Prince George, Duke of Kent, brother of King George VI. Was George simply a wayward prince, best known for his scandalous private life? Or as some now claim, the ringleader of a plot to overthrow Churchill and make peace with Nazi Germany? Prince George was the kind of man you wanted at a party. You know, because he could play the piano like Noel Coward or Ivan Avello. He could entertain, he could sing. He was very charismatic, he was very good company. He could talk to anybody. For George, the whole thing was an adventure. You know, here he was, uh, pretty much a matinee idol, a good-looking guy who also happened to be a prince. The world was his oyster. Noel Coward and um, the Duke of Kent met after a performance in the early 1920s and, and struck up a public friendship that many people believed in private was a romance. Um, it's not implausible. I mean, there's a very famous story about Coward and the Duke of Kent cavorting around Mayfair dressed as women. It was said that George and Coward would often raid the theatre's costume department and take late-night walks through London in disguise. On one occasion, however, Coward, along with Prince George, found themselves in trouble with the law. They were arrested um, on suspicion of prostitution. Um, and it goes without saying, both of them got off very quickly, and certainly as soon as Prince George's identity was ascertained. Another love of George's was Poppy Baring. Part, she was a member of the very wealthy Baring banking family. Somebody found them one day snuggled up together in one another's arms, and uh, it was thought that these two would get married. And to start off with, it seemed as though the king and queen had no objections. And then for whatever reason, it was all off. He was reported to have found a new vice, drugs. Prince George's most dangerous liaison was with Kiki Preston, also known as the girl with the silver syringe. Kiki Preston had lived in Kenya for a couple of years when, when George came out on a private visit, and they began an affair. Um, it was dangerous because Kiki Preston was known for her love of cocaine and morphine. She actually carried a syringe around in her handbag and just having a conversation with somebody, she would pull it out and inject herself. She was totally open with it. Uh, she sold it as an idea as being a very glamorous thing. And a contemporary um, described her that she could stay up until four in the morning jabbing a syringe into her arm and then wake up at eight o'clock and uh, appear, you know, in society looking as beautiful as ever. Mm -hmm. 